Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and if it's your first time here, welcome. I'm Matt, this is Addicted to Tools and what I do here is a differing range of reviews, a lot of DIY stuff and tips and tricks for people that are in the trades or just wanting to use your tools on the daily. So what I'm doing here today is running through five differing tools that I've used over the years while in the trade that I haven't seen too many guys using and I'm pretty sure most of you guys haven't seen them before. So let's delve into it. All right, so first up, we've got this beauty here. This is from Helm and Titan. I don't know if you can see the name on the side there, but I'll leave all the details, the brand name, and the item number in the description. So make sure to check those out. And what this is, is a three-pronged stretcher, as you can see, just like a pair of pliers, but then it opens the three prongs. And what this is for, we'll run through that quickly. And so when you buy these stretchers, you can buy a range of differing little stretchy pieces like that. Get all different sizes, different colors. I think some actually come with labels. What you do is thread that on. And as you can see, it opens it up. So I'm just using a bit of Nexus cable here. We use this primarily with AV. So you've got a lot of smaller cables that have to be shown in racks. So you want it nice and neat. And instead of using heat shrink. So see that end there, it doesn't look that great. Put it over the end, pull it tight, and you've got a nice looking end. So that's all that's for. It's a great little tool. Um, if you're trying to keep jobs nice and neat, a lot of rack work, maybe in switchboards, that sort of stuff, definitely a great little tool. I think these are a hundred, a little bit over a hundred bucks in Australia. But I'll leave a link down below so you can look at that. We'll go to the next one. So next up, I've already done a video on this, but I thought I would throw this in because I don't see too many guys running around with these, especially in Australia. Um, we don't use a lot of strippers. We usually just use, use your pliers for most stuff. So what we have is from Nipex. So you guys know I love Nipex, made in Germany, great quality uh, tools. The part number is 169501. And what this is great for is a lot of your smaller circular gear. So you've got obviously the, the Nexus cable. Um, I'll grab just a bit of SDI and also your flex. So that's when I absolutely love using this. So we'll start off with the flex. This is just 1.5, your usual stuff that you get with a lot of gear. As you can see, nice and easy. I'll show you that again. So as you can see, just a bit of flex, 1.5. Throw it in the end there. Quick twist and pull. No nicks. Nice and easy, nice clean cut. And there's no stretching as well. You guys will know if you're using pliers, sometimes it can stretch. And it doesn't leave as nice a cut. And so what you're looking at with these is a blade in the end. You can see that's the sort of range it goes to. Around on the other side, you've got a smaller end. That one's on a spring. And then on the side, you've got all these little strippers there. You've got four mil, 2.5, 1.5, 0.8, 0.3, and 0.2. So that's good when you get to the smaller stuff there. So what we'll do, I'll throw the 1.5 as you can see in there. Nice and easy. You can see it does get stuck in there, so like it, it's not a big thing, but. So it's a pretty cool tool. What you've also got down here is a blade for stripping. So we'll throw it in there, run it down and away you go. As you can see, no nicks, which is absolutely great. So this is very expensive. I think I got this for about 85 bucks um, on Amazon. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. In store, a lot of guys are selling these for like 120. So for that price, it's definitely out of reach, I do believe. It is an interesting tool. It's definitely not needed. And for that price, it's uh, up in the air for me. I got it just to see what it was like. Have enjoyed it, especially when it comes to these sort of things. A lot of the smaller stuff, we'll do the Nexus. So it's the same with data, as you can see. 
didn't nick the shield at all. So that's great to know, but in some circumstances it will nick the shield. So there's actually another tool that I mainly use for data. And so one thing I do get asked a lot is TPS. It doesn't really work that well, as you can see. There are other actual strippers for that sort of thing, but these aren't that good for that at all. All right, so now if we look at a bit of SDI, use it on the small end, nice and easy. Get that out and then put in the 2.5, nice and clean cut. Obviously, I'd rather use my pliers usually for that sort of stuff. So really, it's not, it's not really a tool that's fully needed, but once again, really cool to know about, really cool to have. So we'll go on to the next one. All right, so next up we have another stripper. This is actually one that I've used since I was an apprentice. Didn't realize that not many people actually know about them, especially overseas. Um, quite a few people I know use them at work and in Australia. But overseas, yeah, not too many guys know about them. So this is the 4211 CDST. And what it is... So just like the Nipex, it's good for stripping, but mainly for your data. Data this size. This is still the Nexus, but this is the same as a Cat6 or Cat5e cable, basically. And you just throw it in there. You've got a few different sizes. I've only ever used the top two. So... We'll throw it in the second one, I believe. Just go around once or twice. And as you can see, nice clean cut, nice and easy. Hasn't nicked anything. Once again, you have got to be careful with these on shielded cables, especially when you get to Cat6A, you will be using that end one and not applying pressure because what you will do is nick the shield. But these range from about 50 cents to 20 or $30. I, this one is the Quebec one, but I do rate a few of the ones on eBay. I have bought the cheapest ones on there just to see what they were like quite a few years ago. I bought a 10 or 20 pack for about 10 bucks. So that's 50 cents to a dollar each. For that price, they're actually not too bad, especially just to have in your bag for spares in case you lose these. These do go walk about. The apprentice will steal them or another tradie will steal them. So it's worthwhile having for that, borrow them out, all that sort of stuff. And the other thing with these, some of them actually don't have this, but you can see there, that's a punch down part. So those of you that know your Chrome tool, it's basically the same sort of thing. Obviously not fully recommended, but it is good just to have as a backup, just in case you need to punch something down. Um, yeah, great tool, love it. Definitely worth having 10 bucks, 15 bucks for this one. Cheap's chips. So there's that one. We'll look at the next one guys. So next one is from Stabler. If you guys haven't seen these around, these are top of the range levels. They've been around forever, the brand, and you can't really get anything better. So this one's the Pocket Pro Magnetic, and it's something that I've uh, had for about a year. Absolutely love it, use it almost every day. And I've found a lot of guys haven't known about them, haven't seen them, and when they see it and use it, they just fall in love and they wanna grab one. So what it is, it's just a small little level. It's tiny, fits in the palm of your hand has a little black case with a clip on it so that can go on your belt or on your tool pouch. I usually have it on my MP1, just like that. Will not fall off and it will not fall out either. When it's actually clipped in, the level will not clip out. So what you do have to do, unfortunately, is take it off, which is still fairly easy. And once you've done that, falls out one-handed, nice and easy. You have a magnet on the side and the bottom so you can put it, you won't be putting it that way, but um, you get the idea. You can put it on that way, look at the level, and it's an absolutely brilliant little tool to have around. Obviously, you won't be using this full time because you will want a larger one to go both ways as well, but this is definitely something that's on my list for the must-haves in electrical. So lastly, we have the Marksman Marking Tool. This is from Grip It. Once again, I'll leave the details in the description. And what we have is just a small canister of compressed air and paint. Nice and simple, beautiful idea, and we'll show you what it does. 
So I've just got this piece of timber for an example. Usually it might be even a mounting block, a light fitting. Could be anything that you're trying to mount to a wall, floor, ceiling, but has a very deep hole. So this is 35 mil. So you're gonna to struggle to get a normal pen in there. That's just your normal ink saw. Obviously that's not gonna work. Even if we grab our picker long pen, that's not gonna reach. So sometimes it's just too deep and that's where the marksman comes into its element. I've only used it a few times, but I've absolutely loved it every time and it's saved me those few times. So nothing marked there, obviously. All you do, I think you've got to unlock it. Where's the lock? There you go. You can see on the side, just gonna line that up like that. You can see that there, beautiful. Then you just push in and there you go. That's where your mark is. Nice and easy. We'll show you again. There you go, another mark, nice and easy. Marksman from Grip It. So unfortunately, these are extremely hard to get in Australia. There may be a couple of places around that still have them. Bunnings used to sell them off the shelf, they don't anymore. In the UK, you can get them, and I believe in America, some places, there's a few guys trying to chase these up because um, there's a lot of guys wanting this product. So I think you can get them for about 25 bucks online, sent over to Australia, maybe, maybe 35, I can't really remember. I'll have a look, put the link in the description again. But in the UK, I think they're about $15. So not a bad little buy. Definitely gets you out of a few scenarios, which is really what these things are for, which is absolutely great. So there you have it guys, five different tools that you may or may not have known about. Definitely hit me up in the comments, let me know which ones you knew about, and maybe this has helped you out. And if this has been informational for yourself, or even entertaining, make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, all that stuff definitely helps me out. And until next time guys, stay addicted to the tools.